Hello, my name is Cameron. Uh, this is my third video, and I'm going to be addressing the question, growing up, did you feel pressure to stick to certain gender roles? Well, I am a FTM transgender, and um, I still, I still feel a lot of pressure from my mother specifically to be feminine. Um, as a child, I was really tomboyish and uh, always hung out with the guys, always dressed in baggy clothes and whatever, unless my mom, you know, insisted that I dress differently, which I, I didn't really have the option um, to do or not do because she, you know, when, it, when you're young, your mom buys your clothes. But yeah, when I had the choice, I would dress baggy clothes and nothing really form-fitting, flowery, whatever, you know, pink, um, whatever the, the gender norms are. Uh, and she, my mom would always point out how, you know, raggedy I look, how tomboyish I am, you know, and in little, in little ways pointing out that she disapproved of my masculinity. It was a, uh, is, it is a, an issue because ever since I was really young, I've always felt like I am was born male, or I was, I was supposed to be male anyway. Uh, the pressure from my mom is as recent as prom, which uh, I just graduated high school, uh, how long has it been now? Two years surprisingly no no uh one year uh it's now 2011 i graduated 2010 in may uh so it's as recent as last year uh i i wanted to uh, i was planning on wearing you know a tux to prom getting all getting all fitted for a nice vest and suit and whatever i was really wanted to do it and i just couldn't bring myself to go shopping for it didn't even bring it up to my parents because uh, just I felt like my mom would be really disappointed you know she was really excited to see me dressed up in a dress with my hair done and my nails all painted and whatever uh, so I I did that and you know I felt I felt okay you know I I was a little more confident in myself all dressed and prettied up but I would have felt better had I gone in a fitted tux but you know it's just I recently came out as transgender to my mother actually uh, to my, both my parents back in December it uh, it was difficult my mom didn't understand I don't know if she does I don't think she does she just uh, she was crying for a long time you know and we just had this tension between us for days uh, in a like in a way, she kind of added my coming out to a list of her stresses, and you know, so I felt blamed for you know her emotional distress. Um, I mean, I, I I don't hold it against her. I I forgive her, but you know, I guess it's it's difficult you know to deal with it um i can't i can't blame her though it's uh part of her upbringing she doesn't understand you know because she wasn't she didn't grow up with any other idea um and that's just it uh, i mean aside from my mom who is a huge you know i i love her i love her to death you know um so aside from my mom I do, I guess, feel a sort of a societal pressure as well. Um, I'm often uncomfortable just walking around in public dressed the way that I do. I mean, I don't, I don't dress any differently because of it. I always wear, I, I only ever buy men's clothes and that's all I ever wear out and whatever. But I do sometimes, you know, when put in a large crowd of people, uh, feel uncomfortable doing so.
but you know hopefully I'll get to a point where I'm comfortable enough with myself confident in myself to walk out the door however dressed however I want to you know looking however I want and not be as you know insecure as I am